by your phone. So I'm Robbie Cuthbert and I'm from Palo Alto, originally from Massachusetts, but live in Palo Alto now. I make basically tension-based sculptures and furniture, so everything uses steel cable as a key structural element to hold everything together, so sort of similar to tensegrity stuff. Um, so in something like this table over here, um, you know, none of the legs touch each other. They're all just supported by this sort of interconnected network of steel cables. It's all just based on tension and opposing forces to create stability. I was studying like sculpture and architecture in school uh, like four years ago and I was playing around with ideas, new ideas for different types of sculptures and I sort of came up with this cabling pattern between two opposing curves, sort of basically similar to this here. Um, and uh, I realized that it just created really stable structures. So after you know making some different sculptures, I realized I could apply that method to creating functional things also. So it was really just going from sculpture and then after realizing how structural everything was, using that to create functional, mm. functional things. I have a bunch of just totally sculptural things, don't serve any purpose besides looking, looking cool. Um, and then I have tables and lamps and bookshelf and then wine rack. Because that's sort of the, yeah, that's the, the full spectrum. People are very surprised. I mean, I think the biggest reaction comes from the coffee table. And people are just very uh, intrigued by the fact that none of the legs touch each other. So it's sort of that, like, a little bit, like, precarious factor when people realize that it's, the cables are actually doing all the work holding everything together. Yeah. My website's the, the best place, which is just RobbieCuthbert.com, um, and there's just pictures of everything on there, and so you can see lots of and experimental sculptures and different different furniture that's not here. So yeah.